quality bet is, is really significant to the drive uh, taken by the Minister of Tourism and Culture and the GT Board. Uh, if you can have it also, it will actually ease up the price of refuse at the moment. Destination Gambia already provides the perfect ingredients for Swedish tourists and with European arrivals, especially from Holland, experiencing a stark rise. The next big leap could emerge from the Swedes, who are credited for being the first tourists to visit the smiling coast. Hi, I'm Lara and I'm here on holiday in the Gambia on the smiling coast. This program is brought to you by... This is the expedition with me, Ibrahim Ajata, traveling to discover and explore. Now back to our main item, a visit to the Pian and Ponto Community Forest Park. A forest park in the watchful hands of a community greatly committed to its development. Join the expedition inside this exciting natural environment, finding out what makes it outstanding. Travelling to Piran on the snake in South Gambia Highway, one is submerged in panoramic scenes of flourishing woodlands and a beautiful natural spectacle, guiding you all the way to the picture postcard settlement presenting the simple and revitalizing outlook of rustic surroundings. The village is a pleasant marvel between unspoiled backdrops and appealing moments presenting the entrance of local attractions. One of them would surely be the Piran Bondo Community Forest Park. Under the watchful management of two neighboring communities, this eco scheme presents an uncommon diversity of colored forests which has remained unchanged and vastly unspoiled despite being thrown between what is a steadily growing township, increasingly needing to utilize the woodland for a whole lot of benefits. Negligence could have greatly altered this spot, yet the unflagging dedication of the communities who look after this place wouldn't really endure such a thing. And so this woodland escaped the clutch of intruders and deforesters since 2003, when a participatory forestry program involved neighboring populations to help in the area's preservation. If you look at the history, it has a historical name which is called Mansa Dembereng. That is the historical name for this place because the colonial time, the colonial mansas, they normally used to meet here to share their opinions, ideas about how to rule their empire. Forest parks sometimes require increased enrichment planting to improve their vegetation. Yet gallery forests like this one are naturally fashioned in such a way that the plant life develops itself, with trees like climbers continuing an unstopping rise, whilst other trees generate young foliage, which eventually takes over when the mother trees disappear. Uh, since the year 2003, um, every Thursday we used to meet here with our committees to discuss on ideas develop our strategy plans on how to preserve the forest into ecotourism, uh, ecotourism system. And the benefit whenever it is realized should be said into th one is to raise your three. That is 15% to the National Forestry Fund and 45% to the management of the forest and 40% that will be said in between these two villages, that is Bonto and Pira. Gradually we used to have some visitors uh, oftenly. This boy is in charge of the office here. Who so, who visit, whosoever came as a visitor is the main guide who used to take you to the forest. And there are trails inside, wherever direction you want to go. The visitors just normally come here. When they're going back, they have to go with the good name of the forest. And then the forest has different species. And then the most rare species in the country could be found here. An outside 64 hectares of attention grabbing trees presents a wealth of plants for nature lovers to explore. The collection here ranges from fruit trees to medicinal plants asking for research and discovery. Delight in exceptional species like the black velvet tree, grey plum and the curative varieties like this one called Antrosema senegalensis, subsisting amid winding climbers soaring along tall branches.
the communities here intend to maintain and turn this spot into a major nature park to attract tourism, which is already being realized with the area's reputation for burden. Walking unhurriedly among tickets and wild undergrowths, one could easily chance upon a rare bird like this Virex eagle owl we discovered passing time on the topmost part of this tall mother tree. One of the ten varieties of owls in the Gambia, the eagle owl is usually found within such undergrowths snuggled in tall trees. Dry savanna regions and riversides are also its favorite locations. In 2003, a university research team from the United Kingdom discovered the Puvel illadopt inside this underbrush. It's a rare species. The park's border see the rare bird, shown here on this guidebook, is part of the many species found in the woodland. If you look at this forest from early days, it is considered as a gallery forest. It is a natural forest. This is how it was found and this is how it is today. Now, what we are looking forward here is to make so that this forest continues like this or even more than this forever and ever. I can say it is the best place here in the Gambia for ecotourism. The forest here is increasingly thickening, taking a dense canopy-like form which virtually covers the sky. The luxurious foliage is home to a mass of reptiles, snakes and butterflies. One reason why the community here wants to face the entire perimeter to conserve whatever makes home inside this lavish environment. Forestry officials also keep a close watch, guiding and advising the communal management on ways to ensure conservation, whilst engaging schemes to bolster the location's attractions. <laughs> That's all we have for you on this edition of the expedition, traveling to explore the characterful outlook of the smiling coast. But do continue to join us. The expedition is on a brand new season, focusing entirely on the country's eco network and natural balance. Traveling across the country, we'll be seeking to bring you closer to this exciting destination. Until we meet again, join us next week.